One of the most interesting facts right now in the U.S. economy is the number of people who are falling into the poverty line, the category of an impoverished family. It has risen to 14.2 percent, which is the highest uh, percentage in uh, 50 years. Uh, you need to see this statistic uh, in relation to the number of people who who have entered the billionaire status and the millionaire status in this country. Uh, this top 2 percent of uh, U.S. household incomes uh, has grown dramatically, uh, which again shows an enormous gap between the wealthiest people in the United States and the people who are trying to stay in the middle class. This is where the pressure is in the U.S. economy, especially again if you add the uh, unemployment figures that have been around 10 percent uh, and have not shown any great uh, change even with the economy improving. Uh, we've got the situation uh, as it exists right now. Um, it is very interesting to note that over the next decade, Social Security uh, spending will rise 70 percent. Medicare spending will rise 79 percent. And Medicaid spending will rise 99 percent. Where is the U.S. government going to get the money uh, to pay for the rise in the cost of these three entitlement, what they call entitlement programs. They're not going to be able to reduce expenditures in these programs. There's no politician who's going to get elected uh, if he talks about reducing spending in these areas. There's only one place to reduce spending in the American economy right now, in the U.S. government budget right now, and that's the $693 billion almost $700 billion we pay a year for our military. Look at just this past decade. Uh, I think it was in 2000, our military expenditures were roughly $393 billion. Now they're almost $700 billion. If we continue this way, we simply cannot afford those entitlement programs. One or the other has to go. It will be the military budget. Uh, look carefully at that because uh, it's going to happen.